Okay, so here we are, a Mac 5 on a Mac 5 1 um, 12 core with 64 gig of RAM. And this is the one I've sort of um, hot rodded. Um, I changed the BIOS so that you can boot um, and use an RTX card, an NVIDIA card. So this has got an RTX 460 and an 8 gig consumer grade gaming card. But it's given this machine an extra lease of life because there's lots of things you can sort of do with it. Now, in some of the previous videos, I've covered basically um, AI with ChatGPT type things using Llama. But we're going to look at AI image generation. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to compare what this machine can do with a um, M3 Max, a Silicon Mac, Silicon laptop thing I've got. Um, anyway, so what do you need to do this? Um, well, first of all, I'm in Linux Mint. So the, the first thing you can do is basically just to make your machines in tip top condition. Just look at drivers. There it is, driver manager. And it'll load up and you'll see that I've got the very latest NVIDIA drivers in here. Hang on, hang on. Give it a second to do this. Give it a second, it'll get there. Just got to scour the internet. Here we are. So I'm on NVIDIA driver 570, which is the very latest one that they've got out. How do we get that? OK, that's quite simple. You go up here and you Google NVIDIA PPA and you'll get this link at the top. Click on that and then down the bottom, you'll get this information. So you grab that, copy, launch terminal and then paste it in there, run it and then restart the machine. And then when you go back to that driver's thing, those drivers will appear for you. OK, so what do we need to do? Um, AI image generation. Now, there's lots of different ways to do this, lots of interfaces. The one I've gone with, because I can use it on both the new Mac, the Silicon Mac, and this is a thing called Invoke. Uh, it's in the downloads. Invoke AI, community version, free to use. And what happens, you get this downloaded and it won't run. So what you basically have to do, because it's what's called an app package, to right click, properties, go into permissions, and then allow file execution as a program. So once that's done, you just literally, like on other systems, you just double click it. He says, there it is, and up it comes. Now I've just installed 5.7, uh, which is the very latest version tonight, actually. So we just launch it, up it goes. And give it a second to boot up. Here we go. And it's doing it. And it launches into the interface. There we are. And this is what we're going to make, but I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to just remove it. I'll talk you around the interface. OK. So you've got a control panel over here. We'll tab you through the major sections. This main interface here is where you sort of do your work. You've got two parts to it. You've got the canvas and the gallery. Now, the canvas is where you do all this stuff called in painting and stuff. Anyway, let's just talk you through this left to right. So here is where you put your prompt. And what I've got here, this is the image size I'm going to generate. Uh, 10 by 20, 10, uh, 1024 by 1024. This is the model I'm using, which is called Flux Dev. Now, this is total size with dependencies 33 gigs. So this is the big one. And then down here, I've got a thing called a LoRa. Now, what a LoRa is, is like a modification to the base model. And I've got one called Cinemax Styling on it. When I go over to the other Mac, I'll do the, exactly the same thing. Now, it's got steps, um, all this sort of malarkey. I don't, I don't propose to be an expert in AI image generation. And you've got the, the VAE, the encoder, and all that at the bottom. Now, over here, you've got where your images go. And then let's click onto this. This is for upscaling images, this panel. This is for clever workflows that you can build. And then this is the models page. OK, so in here is all the models I've downloaded and you get a model panel. So you go over here and you can install each of the base model systems. I pulled down that one, Flux Dev Main 33. But there's tons of models and modifiers and all sorts of stuff you can have a play around with. You can pull them straight from um, Hugging Face. You can download them locally and bring them in. All that kind of stuff you can you can do. Great. So it's very, very flexible. I mean, some of you on a Mac may have seen Diffusion be very handy, but this gives you a lot more latitude to what you can do with it. 
Anyway, so let's go over here, back to this page. And this Laura, as it's called, triggers on some keywords. And one of the keywords is, the keywords is cinematic style. So I'll pop that in there and here's the uh, prompt we're going to use. So all I'm going to do is literally anything else. I'll put the seed to random so you won't see those flowers again. They were one shot. They'll never come into that game again. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit invoke and it will generate the um, the image. Now, over here, you'll see when I kick it off. There it goes. It's starting to create an execute session and it should start to run it. You can see all that going in the background. So let's just leave this to go and it'll do its thing. And right at the end, I should let's click that there be able to um, get a time of how long this takes. Because remember, I mean, it's fundamentally a gaming card. But the big thing about the AI and how far it's come is NVIDIA has been part and parcel of this all the way through. So you're going to get much more, much better um, acceleration using NVIDIA cards. Now, as Mac users, we're screwed. We're stuck with the M, the silicons. We can't put anything in them. And we've gone down this route of the GPUs with the CPUs and everything like that. Now, they're supposed to be, but there are benefits for that. Tons of benefits, but there are some limitations. And as you'll see, this is one of them. Because obviously, um, the Apple Silicon runs on, uh, was it Core ML? The models from Core ML. And there's not many people have transferred them transfer them over um, and basically it's a bit of a hash job if you want to do this natively and use the power of the CPU GPU thing on the on the silicon machines um, so you know this is a great way to do it if you've got an old not just a Mac 5.1 but you can do it with an old an old um, Intel CPU if you want you can basically just add on a very powerful graphics card onto it it's rich it's skipping the processor and just use the power of that card now I did try because I did have an RX R, RX 580 in this machine to put one of those on there and try and do it but ATI are behind NVIDIA with AI there's a thing called ROCM and I could not I spent two days doing it could not get it to work it only works in Linux as well could not get it to work on here so i could demonstrate the difference but yeah so you know there's um nvidia really rules the roofs with with this kind of stuff and as a mac user you're incredibly limited as to what you can do you've got the seven ones i think that can run um nvidia cards in windows mode the five ones you flash the rom uh bios you can flash the bios with uh, there's a hack a brilliant hack it's on one of my videos um and from there you can Put in an RTX card and run it. Obviously, the pat there's some power issues, but there are ways around it, and you can put more powerful cards into the machine. Anyway, we'll let this run, and I'll sort of come back when it's um, when it's completed. But you can see it building in now. Okay, and there it is. There's our image. And what we can do, if we have a look over here, it gives us a time. Total graph execution time, 503 seconds. So remember that, because we're basically going to do the similar test when we're on the um, M3 silicon. So there you go. So that's not too bad. I mean, that's a great image. I mean, AI and depth of field all this sort of business very clever i mean obviously you can have a field day with prompts i'll just show you this bit as well you can actually add predefined prompt elements on here to make your picture look a particular way i've just used that uh, laura to steer it towards that kind of a filmic look but yeah so that's it that's it running in, in linux on a 5.1 on a mac uh, a mac 5.1 with a 460 card um you can see the video you've ram usage is here as well can't you look RAM used totally load models, 27 gig. It's a big old model. Anyway, there you go. Let's switch over to the other machine and see what that can do.
Okay, so we're on the other machine now. So we're on the M3, see up here, M3 Max. Um, it's got a total of 30 GPU cores and it's got 36 gig of RAM. So I'll do what I did before, I'll launch Invoke. And it's still just the same, it's the 5.7 and then launch it. There we go. So I've already got the same, which one's that? I've already got the same prompt set up in here, cinematic style. Close up a field of wildflowers, intricate petals and details. And then down here, same frame size, flux damp, steps, and I've got, yep, cinematic Laura. That's it. So if you look at this, it's identical to the one I was using on Linux. So basically, I'll run the same um, the same test. It's got random seed put on it. I'll say exactly the same uh, render well apart from the randomness and we'll see how how quickly it takes so just sort of fire that up up there and i don't need that one no i do need that one i need the viewer open because it's going there that little center gallery it's a workspace let me make sure i've got the right place so the picture pops in i think it's going to that one Sending generations to gallery, view progress and image viewer, open viewer. Okay, that's the right place apparently. He says, send to gallery. Anyway, it started. So let's just make sure I've got the right one. Gallery. Sends generations to gallery. View progress in image viewer. Okay. Well, hopefully that's going to go in there, but we'll check. But I'll let it render and we'll come back afterwards. Okay, and there it is, it's popped in, it's done its render. So what we need to do then is have the fans ramped up there. I'm sure there's some kind of thermal throttling going on here with this thing. But let's go and have a look at how long it took. Okay, so there you go. So total graphics execution time, 702 seconds. So I put a calculator, okay. So there it is, 700, what's that? So AC, so on the previous render on the Mac 5.1 with the 460, it was 8 minutes 33. So this is divided by 60. Try again, put the right key, shall we? 705 divided by 60. It's 11 minutes 75. 11 minutes. 11 minutes 75. 11 minutes. That's not 11 minutes, so it's 12 minutes, isn't it? So hang on, I'll do the problem. <laughs> Crap maths, thanks. What I'll do is I'll put the two scores, convert them to minutes properly and give you the percentage change of, of which one's faster. But obviously the um, RTX 460 is a lot faster. It's interesting the amount of money that you'd have to spend or what Mac to match a basic gamer card, RTX gamer card to get the same sort of AI generation speed. You'd be in the ultras maybe i don't know how many cores or what you'd need to do that but for a 250 pound um rtx 480 you've you've got a lot lot quicker rendering i think it's probably about 30 or 40 percent um slower so there you go so i mean i don't think that the max silicon is completely up to spec yet to do ai generation it can do tons of stuff like it's brilliant video editing davinci resolve all these kind of things but obviously because the whole uh, industry's moved within video to generate to do image generation if you can't get access to an nvidia card you're going to be behind or you're going to spend a lot more to get to the same 
point, which is a real shame for people who use Macs because they just don't have access to external cards anymore or anything like that, which is a real shame. There are, just, I think I've mentioned this, there's Core ML, there's conversions of Stable Fusion for, for, um, for the Mac, but they're uh, far, but, you know, then it's a bit of a ropey sort of setup for that to get hold of the models. I did try, but anyway, there you go. So if you've got a Mac 5.1 sitting around, not only can you, as I've shown in the other videos, run it as an AI um, chat GPT LLM model, you can also now very effectively stop spending tokens on mid journey and do your image generation at home really if you buy an rtx card and you could quite i mean 250 quid flash the rom and uh and you're good to go anyway thanks for watching